Hey YouTube, Ali here, and today I'm gonna show what it's like working at an Amazon sort warehouse or an Amazon sort center. Um, this is not before beforehand. I want to state that this is not an Amazon fulfillment center. It is a sort center. So a fulfillment center usually they're in charge of putting the products in the boxes, you know, taping them up and stuff like that. A lot of what you guys see on social media. This is a sort center warehouse, so we're more in charge of moving pallets and and you know pallets of product into the trailers and getting them shipped out or emptying out trailers stuff like that um and honestly you know i know a lot of you guys me included see stuff online about amazon being a terrible place to work and stuff but the, at least for this warehouse that i worked in uh, i had no problems you know it's a source center and everything was super chill and it was pretty everyone was pretty easy going and it was a great place to work I've worked there for a year but I don't work there anymore and yeah I'm gonna show you guys as many uh, job roles as possible I'm not gonna show everything that you know you're gonna be doing but I'll try to show as much as possible and keep in mind that you know the, the camera work is not gonna be that good because I'm hiding my phone while recording so yeah keep that in mind guys so here I'm scanning in my badge and you're not allowed into the warehouse at all if you don't have a badge and if you don't already work at Amazon. So when you get hired, you're going to be like standing out there before you get your badge, I mean. And yeah, so I scanned in my badge and as you can see, the warehouse is gigantic. This warehouse is so big. Um, to my right, that's the HR desk. That's where people, you know, problems regarding their schedule or their pay or whatever, anything of that sort. They talk to HR on the right. I'm gonna cut past all the walking and um, so th this is where you scan in that same badge that you used to get in the warehouse you scan in and it tells you what you're gonna do for the day uh, I wasn't able to show the screen I'm not exactly sure what it told me to do I forgot this was a while back um, but yeah it'll tell you what your job is for the day and every day you might do something different or if you're really skilled in one area or if like or if an operations manager really likes you in one area or something uh, you will be doing you might be doing that like every day but what I like to do is I like to do something different every day because doing the same being in the same area gets boring so yeah keep that in mind guys the first role I'm gonna start off with explaining is the most basic role that new hires do um, and it's the most basic role for everyone and it's basically building up pallets with the boxes that come down these chutes I freeze framed the video and this shoot that you see there's a bunch of them on each row and there's maybe 15 rows that go all the way down um, and basically each shoot describes a different location where the boxes are going to and let when you scan in you'll see if you get this job or this role it'll tell you which specific shoot you're gonna be working at and all you do is basically stand by that shoot and every box that comes down you put on a pallet and you just build it up to a certain height and then you wrap it and if your shoot is not busy then you look to your left or you look to your right and you go handle those shoots you know but basically you'll be working on one row I'm gonna show you guys now uh, an up-close look at the shoots so you have a better idea of what I'm talking about so this is one of the shoots and as you can see these blue squares are where you place the pallets um this palette is about one third done um and you'll see right about now the chute has a bunch of boxes coming down and it's kind of backed up so yeah you're gonna want to quickly get those onto the palette so i'm going to show you guys what it's like building a palette it's pretty easy this is probably one of my favorite things to do well when it's busy when it's when you don't have much boxes coming down the chute and you're just there standing it's pretty boring but think of it like Tetris you just want to fill up all the empty spots make it even all around you don't want boxes like protruding outside of the pallet just you want it even all around um, ideally big heavy boxes on the bottom and then you know lighter boxes on the on the top you don't want to let the pallet get too tall without wrapping it because then you know you risk the pallet collapsing and I don't know if you guys uh, remember but there's multiple blue squares so you can place four pallets in each little shoot um, and the reason I'm bringing that up now is because let's say you build a pallet up to a certain height 
you're not going to really be able to, to to determine what box comes down to shoot next. So if the pallet is already tall and you get a big heavy box, you know, you don't want to put it on that pallet, so you can put it onto the next one. As you can see here, I'm going for the wrapping pole and I'm going to start wrapping my pallet because it's up to a certain height and I don't want to risk it falling over. And yeah, the, honestly, the pallet looks pretty bad, guys, not going to lie, but whatever. So what I do is I you can't really see because like I said the camera I have it like hidden in a pouch so I can't really aim it downwards but I tie I make the wrap into like a little string and I tie it on a bottom corner of the pallet and then I just wrap it around and you want to wrap it five times around the bottom three times in the middle and then five times on the top but obviously this pallet isn't fully built up so I'm just going to do five times around the bottom and then three times in the middle and then once I build it up to a certain height, I'm going to do five times again around the top. I'm going to fast forward through this wrapping process. Um, yeah, so enjoy the fast forward part. You guys might get a little dizzy. And I'm done wrapping. And I'm gonna back up now and show you guys how it looks. Let me put up the wrapping pole. And yeah, guys, that's my palette. It looks amazing, right? This next area is called crosstalk, uh, or that's the name that it shows up as whenever you scan your badge. But we, we used to just call it carts because um, as you can see in front, that blue cart, that's what you'll be mostly dealing with in this area. And how it works is a trailer will come in, park, and then you open the dock door and you unload the trailers. And the trailers are usually filled with those blue carts or pallets or both. And each trailer has to be unloaded in under an hour. Um, and it's pretty easy. It just gets hectic when there's multiple trailers at the same time, like 10, because you have to get moving kind of fast. And yeah, so you'll scan each each pallet and each cart has a QR code and you scan that QR code and then you scan the ground and that means that you're scanning it out of the trailer and then you'll place them in those uh, blue narrow, you see those blue t that blue tape on the ground, you'll basically place them inside that and then once each trailer is emptied, and all the stuff is out there you'll scan those and then move those to another trailer and there's usually a whiteboard that says what trailer you need to move it to and yeah honestly this the only thing that I liked about this is most of my friends that I met at Amazon worked in this area so it went by pretty fast but when you're by yourself and when it's 100, 100 degrees out the trailers get hot and you're doing this the whole shift it's pretty bad. So just quickly, this QR code is what you scan after you scan the pallet or the cart to show that you scanned it out of the trailer and to the building. And when you're moving something like a pallet or a cart to another trailer, you scan the barcode as I show right now and then you scan the QR code of that trailer that you're putting it into. This area here is called inbound and as you can see here it gets pretty hectic. There's like a mountain of boxes right here. Um, basically what inbound is is trailers come in full of fluid boxes and fluid boxes means you know it's just the trailer filled with boxes it's not, they're not in a cart or on a pallet like how they were in, in carts earlier on the video um, and there's two people in the trailers emptying out the boxes and sometimes they're small boxes and sometimes they're non-con trailers which means boxes over 50 pounds or just big in size and how it works is usually there's three people per trailer one person is outside of the trailer pulling the big boxes off of the belt and the two people in the trailer are putting the boxes onto the belt. And I honestly didn't like working here because when it's hot and you're in the trailer and you're lifting up heavy boxes, I just hated it. And also, 
it's sometimes unorganized because the person pulling off the heavy boxes doesn't have anyone out there actually putting the heavy boxes onto a pallet and stacking them up so then that's when it gets like this and there's just a mountain of big boxes And this is how it looks from inside the trailer as you can see the belt is inside and these boxes are pretty small but yeah two people are putting the boxes onto the belt and one person is pulling off the heavy boxes so this is the last area and roll I'll go over over there's inbound um, this is Gaylord dumper and basically you know how an in inbound I went over how it, all the trailers are mostly filled up with fluid boxes well sometimes the trailers will be filled up with Gaylords and the Gaylords are all small packages you know when you buy something from Amazon and, it, and it's really small it's a really small item and it comes in like a bag a small little bag these Gaylords are all full of those bags and whenever there's a Gaylord full of like 100 or more of those bags we bring them here and then we put them onto the onto these dumpers and it goes on the line Here I'm recording my friend and so he's putting it in with the pallet jack, he takes out the pallet jack and then there's some buttons on the side that bring the Gaylord up and basically it'll dump onto the line. Once the dumper comes back down the Gaylord is completely empty so you bring the pallet jack and pull out the empty Gaylord and you pull it out to the side just like this and I paused it right here because I'm just showing that once you pull out the empty Gaylord you have to flatten it and put it onto that pallet right there <laughs> 